Hi, class. Hi, teacher. How are you? Hi, teacher. How are you, class? I'm great. All right. Let me see, let me see, let me see. All right, everybody's here. Oh, Jenny's in the bus. Yes, sir. What what route? What bus is it? Uh, for the third. What number? What bus? No, no have a number. It's for the third. Oh, it's the company. Yeah. Okay, it's the company transportation. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, oh, okay, good, cool. How are you, Maritza? Hi, hello, uh, I'm fine. Um, how are you? I'm good, thank you, I'm fine too. Okay, great. All right, so let's see what's going on here. Let me open the platform. So remember yesterday we practiced, um, we practiced superlatives and comparatives, correct? Yes. What is a comparative? Do you remember? Um, Who remembers? One, two syllables? Oh, three or more syllables. But and what? Comparative. No, no but it's uh, superlatives too. Superlative. Uh, um, um, Terminate. Uh, est. Okay, and yes. The most. Sup Good. That's superlative, right? Comparative uh, air and more. Excellent. Yes. Big, bigger, biggest. Tall, taller, tallest. Okay. Now listen, something very important. Que esto quiebra las leyes, las reglas que les acabo de explicar. Two exceptions. Good y bad. Si siguiéramos las reglas, good sería gooder. And the superlative sería goodest. Bad, badder, baddest. But in this case, no. Those are exceptions. So let me explain this to you. Okay, do you see that good, better, best? The comparative of good is better. 
and the superlative is best. Okay. Messi is the best soccer player in the world. Saber que se ha hecho, but he's the best. ¿Qué dije? Messi is the best soccer player. Messi el mejor jugador. Okay, good. Ahora, como le repito, esto va en contra de las reglas que les enseñé, pero son excepciones y no hay explicación por qué. Good, better, best. Uh, Catherine, do you like pupusas? Yes, teacher. Okay, for you, which pupusas are better? Rice pupusas or corn pupusas? Um, rice pupusas. Are better. Rice pupusas are better. Than? Than the... Corn, How do you say? Maize. Cor corn. Ah, cor okay, good. Rice pupusas are better. ¿Por qué are? Porque es plural. Pupusas. Ah, okay. Um, so, rice pupusas are better than corn pupusas. Very good. Anna. For you, what is better? Hot weather or cold weather? Um, cold better is better than hot better. better. Okay, the, it's weather, <laughs> weather. Weather, weather. <laughs> yeah, so, okay, so repeat. Cold weather is? Cold weather, weather is? Uh, better? Better than uh, hot weather. Exactly, very good. Cold weather is better than hot weather. Okay. So do you understand? Yes, you say. All right. Not forget what happens with short, long, and irregular adjectives. So Hello just welcome back. look at the video Remember again. Remember there are different types of adjectives? That's right. We have short adjectives, long adjectives, and irregular adjectives. With that in mind, now we'll study the superlative of adjectives. Please stay around and pay attention to the explanation as well as the audio program. Comparisons with adjectives. Which country is larger? Canada or China? Canada is larger than China. Which city has the largest population? Tokyo, Mexico City, or Sao Paulo? Tokyo has the largest population of the three. What is the most beautiful mountain in the world? I think Mount Fuji is the most beautiful. Adjective, comparative, superlative. Long, longer, the longest. Dry, drier, the driest. Big, bigger, the biggest. Famous, more famous, the most famous. Beautiful, more beautiful, the most beautiful. Good. Better, the best. 
bad, worse, the worst. Let's review comparative adjectives. We use the comparative adjectives to compare two people, places, or things. They are used in sentences where two nouns are compared in this pattern. Noun or subject plus Esa verb la plus comparative que les digo. adjective plus than plus noun or object. Let's not forget what happens with short, long, and yo que entiendo esto, me confundo. Y study this what? chart and take notes mm -hmm. as you do so. Take a look at these examples. Bueno, this is the video, lo, lo que le enseñé ayer. This is the questions about comparatives and superlatives. Is it okay to compare who is taller? Uh, um, Jenny, who is taller? Taller. You or Torre Cuscatlán? <laughs> Maybe grammatically is correct, but it's yeah, okay. grammatically, but logically, no. This is it, maybe it, it's it's a ridiculous question. Yes. So remember, yes. it, it has to have coherency. Otra cosa, for example, which country is bigger, Canada or El Salvador? Really? Pero gramaticalmente está bien y, y quizá el día que mi hijo me pregunte eso, le doy como un año más para que me pregunte eso. Ya después de un año, si me iba a preguntar eso, le voy a dar una patada. <ríe> Porque ahorita, ahorita se la paso. No, mentiras. No, si ahorita viene mi hijo, me dice, ok, good, pero, you know, pero. Um, so remember, you have to compare, because when you compare, there's sim similarity. Hay similitud, yes? You can't compare Santa Elena with a popa. You can't compare um, a BMW with a, with a scooter, a Vespa. Bueno, aunque hay Vespas BMW. But you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> Okay, let's see the next one. Okay, instructions, complete questions one through five, one to five with comparatives and questions six to 10 with superlatives. All right, so, Anna, can you do number one, please? Oh, wait, let me share my screen. Yeah. Anna, which country, blank, Monaco or Vatican City? What is the correct? That's easy, Anna. It's very easy. Small. Small. Ana, hello. Ah, perdón, teacher, hablando. Okay. <laughs> Entonces, okay, okay. Um, Monaco is the smaller. No, no, usted haga la pregunta. Ah, okay, okay. Which country is Monaco or ba, 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 no sé cómo se dice. Vatican How do you City. say? Vatican City. ¿Qué va en, el, en, la, en, en lo blanco, Ana? A smaller, smaller. Okay, can you repeat, please? 
and which country is smaller, Monaco or Vatican? Vatican, Vatican City, Vatican. Vatican, you know, Catholic, the people, is Papa. The Vatican. It's called the Vatican. Okay, do you know what is a waterfall? Class, a waterfall? Yes. Okay, can you do number two, Maritza Ortiz? Okay. Um, uh, which city is cold weather? Number two. Number two, okay. Which waterfall is high hair uh, Niagara Falls or Angel Falls? Okay, so which waterfall is higher? Okay, next. Um, which city is, is more crowded, 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 Hong Kong or Cairo? Thank you, Jenny. Por qué es more crowded? Because it's, um, it's a more syllables? Three syllables, right? Yeah. Crowded. Three syllables. Yeah. All right. Catherine, number five, wait, number four, please. Okay. Which lake is larger, the Caspian Sea or Lake Superior? Okay, which lake is larger? Larger. Mm -hmm. Which lake is larger? The Caspian Sea or Lake Superior? Good. Noten que mal, mal está esa pregunta. No es su culpa, Catherine. Dice, ¿cuál lago es más largo? El, rey, el, el mar Caspian, o sea, entonces no es lago, es mar. <laughs> Sí es mar. Ah. Por eso de ahí viene mariscos. Seafood. Comida de mar. Comida de mar. Okay, next. Who is next? Uh, Karen, number five, please. Um, hello, teacher. Um, hey, Karen. What? Place is the um, more famous or oh, no sé cómo se pronuncia esto, teacher. Famous. Oh, famous. Eh, so which place is Taj Mahal no estoy, no estoy or the no. No Great Wall of China? Okay. That's a difficult question. Which place do you think is more famous, class? The Taj Mahal or the Great Wall of China? Huh? Are you seeing the great, the great, the Great Wall of China? Yeah. Yeah, maybe that's an, op yes, it's an opinion. Maybe some people say the Taj Mahal. Some people say the Great Wall of China. Interesting. All right, number six. Let me see who is here. Maritza, number six again, please. Okay. Uh, which is high hair, uh, most Aconcagua, Mount Everest, oh no, perdón, perdón. Sí. Which is higher? Mm -hmm. um, higher. Well, which is higher? Mount Aconcagua, Mount Everest, or Mount Fuji? Okay. Aquí está correcto, fíjese. Higher. Pero le apuesto que la plataforma me lo va a tirar mal. Ajá, yo eso le iba a preguntar, teacher, le, porque... Le puso de highest. Yo, 
estuve viendo los, los, los superlativos y cuando son como para um, tres, eh, para tres lugares, ¿verdad? O tres tipos de, de cosas o personas, ya se ocupa el superlativo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y así no, porque se acuerdan que yo, yo más bien esta pregunta le hubiera dicho, ¿cuál es la montaña más alta del mundo? Ya en general. Porque si aquí solo estoy hablando solo de tres en general, entonces ¿cómo estoy comparando. Which is higher? ¿Cuál es más alta? ¿La de Aconcagua, la Everest o la Mount Fuji? Uh -huh. Tienes razón. Hasta en español creo que se dice igual. Pero... Ok, but the highest, but actually higher is correct. Number seven, um, Anna. What is long river in, longer river in the mall in the world? The night or the Amazon? A longer. And otra vez. Está mal. O longest. Solo porque dice. What is the longest? Solo porque no. Oh. Or. In my opinion. Uh -huh. Sería which river is longer. The Nile or the uh -huh. Amazon. Pero vuelvo y repito. O sea. La, la, el superlativo se usa para ya no comparar. Y solo gener, hablar en general. El, el superlativo, el comparativo sí se usa para compararlo. Dice la palabra comparative. Comparative. Mm -hmm. Ok. So, yo les recomiendo que mejor eh, no comparen usando superlativos. Si usan superlativos, por no. ejemplo, aquí, river in the world, aquí lo dice. Which is the longest river in the world? Solo hasta ahí lo dejara. Pero ¿por qué me da opciones? Mm -hmm. Okay, number eight, Jenny. Sorry, Prophet. Which city is more expensive, Tokyo, Moscow, or Hong Kong? Which city is more expensive, Tokyo, Moscow, or San Miguel? San Miguel is very expensive. <laughs> or Hong Kong. Number nine, Karen? Um, which is... Dry. Dry. Dry is seco. Dry. Dry is desert in the world. Atacama. Desert. Así se pronuncia eso. Yes, Atacama. Atacama desert or Sahara desert. Sahara, okay, good. Hey, I'm sorry, what was number nine? The deepest. He knows what is which. Teacher. Um, yes. Eight, the eight is the most expensive. Yes, it's the most expensive. Pero, que les digo, vuelvo y repito, es porque quien hizo este ejercicio no lo hizo bien. Which country is smaller, Monaco? Vaya, miren, aquí se está comparando, Monaco or Vatican. Which waterfall is higher?
Okay, let's go to the next. Teacher, is as most. Sí, de acuerdo a la plataforma, sí. Mm -hmm. Hi, in this class, we'll practice our pronunciation. Listen to the intonation of questions of choice. Repeat the questions along the audio program. Pronunciation. Questions of choice. Listen to the intonation in questions of choice. Then practice the questions in part A of exercise three again. Which city is bigger, Bangkok or Beirut? Which country is the most interesting, Korea, Brazil, or Greece? Veamos esto otra vez. Hi, in this class we'll practice our pronunciation. Listen to the intonation of questions of choice. Repeat the questions along the audio program. Pronunciation. Questions of choice. Listen to the intonation in questions of choice. Then practice the questions in part A of exercise 3 again. Which city is bigger, Bangkok or Beirut? Which country is the most interesting, Korea, Brazil, or Greece? Esto es entonación y realmente he aprendido una cosa, que la entonación es opcional. Usted puede entonar lo que usted quiere, donde usted quiere, porque nadie sabe lo que usted quiere decir. ¿Se acuerdan cuando su mamá la llamaba? Por ejemplo, David, vení, vení. Entonaba el vení como oh, oh. No entonaba David. Era bien diferente decir David, vení. David, vení, vení. Oh, oh. Entonces era... Entonación es donde ustedes quieren ponerle el acento. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. You see, it's your option. Okay. Okay, imagine, okay. Okay. Okay, using the word how. 
Dice, al final de esta sesión aprenderán a usar preguntas con qué tan. Que estoy usando how. Ok, let's listen to this. Teacher, don't see the screen. Nadie la ve. Ahora sí que está. O sea que el anterior no lo habían visto. No. Oh, man. Y yo poniéndoselos, yo con eso no me respondí. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Questions related to this. Hi again. There are many questions we can ask with how. This time we'll ask questions related to distance, measurement, descriptions, and conditions. As soon as we listen to the explanation, we'll ask you some questions. Get ready. Questions with how. How far is New Zealand from Australia? It's about 2,000 kilometers. 1,200 miles. How big is Singapore? It's 648 square kilometers, 250 square miles. How high is Mount Cook? It's 3,740 meters high, 12,250 feet. How deep is the Grand Canyon? It's about 1,900 meters deep. 6,250 feet. How long is the Mississippi River? It's about 5,970 kilometers long, 3,710 miles. How hot is Auckland in the summer? It gets up to about 23 degrees Celsius, 74 degrees Fahrenheit. How cold is it in the winter? It goes down to about 10 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. We will use how to ask different types of questions. We will use how this way. How plus adjective plus a verb plus complement plus question mark. Let's go back to the chart. Notice how and right after it we have far. Far is an adjective. How big? Big is an adjective, and because we use adjectives, we must use the verb be properly conjugated. How long is the Mississippi River? How is the question word? Long is the adjective. Is is the verb be in singular. Mississippi River is the complement. Ready to answer? Here we go. How big is your country? How tall are you? Which one is the longest river in your country? How long is it? As we always ask you to do, please write your responses in our discussion box. Okay, let's do how. ¿Cuál? ¿Cómo? How far? Do you notice how far? Tan cerca. How far is distance? Uh -huh. How far is it from San Salvador to San Sonate? How far? Ana? Uh, it's mm, approximately fifty kilometers. It's fifty kilometers. Yeah. Okay. So how far is it from San Salvador to San Sonate? It's fifty kilometers. How far? Now, same question, but how long?
Now, the question is how long, not how far. What is how long? Is, is this distancia? The distancia? Is distance, yes, distance. but in time. In time, uh, it's more, it's three hours. Three hours? Um, I don't know, but one hour. hour. Maybe one hour. Maybe one hour, yes. So Jenny, yes, how far is uh, one hour? Don't have a traffic. <laughs> with no traffic, traffic yes. Is more. Yes, with no traffic is one hour. Huh. Okay, good. So that's the difference. How far is it from San Salvador to San Sonate? How far is distance? It is 55 kilometers. How long is it from San Salvador to San Sonate? How long it's um, in car with no traffic, maybe one hour. Correct? Correct. Okay, next. Do you see how do you? I don't know, teacher, how do you? Thank you. Do you see, how do you, Ben, how do you in, in the? Yes, I see in the chat. Okay. Hold on, let me check one thing. How do you es como ustedes, más el verbo, más el complemento. For example, how do you drink coffee? Please no me vayan a decir con mi boca. Si le pregunto cómo beben su café, no me vayan a decir with my mouth. No, how do you drink your coffee? I drink my coffee with sugar, with milk with, um, I drink my sugar black. Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Maritza. Tell me. How do you drink soups? How do you eat your soup? Um... Um, uh, I drink soup uh, hot. Very good. I drink soup hot. Good. Or I drink soup with lemon or chile. With uh, very spicy. <laughs> very spicy, yes. Catherine. Yes, teacher. How do you dress in a funeral? Uh, funeral? Funeral. Um, funeral. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. um, How do you dress in a funeral? My dress in funeral is black. 
Good. I dress in black. Repeat. Repeat. I dress in black. I dress in black. To a funeral. The funeral? Okay. Listen, please. I dress in black to a funeral. I dress in black into funeral. Okay, listen to my question. Please, Catherine, please listen. Mm. <laughs> How do you dress in a funeral? ¿Qué le pregunté, Catherine? ¿Qué ves? ¿Cómo uso el... Quiero ver, sorry. ¿Cómo, ¿Qué tipo de vestido uso en el funeral? ¿Cómo se viste en un funeral? Um, Pero yo creo que usted me estaba respondiendo mi vestido es negro o me vestí uh, de negro. Eh, sí, que, con el color. Uh -huh. No, yes. está bien, porque es la respuesta que quería oír. Pero la respuesta sería, yo me he visto de negro en un funeral. Pero creo que usted me quería decir, me vestí de negro o no sé. Pero igual, yeah. o, oiga las preposiciones. Si yo le pregunto a la ¿cómo se viste en un funeral? Yo me he visto de negro en un funeral. En un... So listen in English. How do you dress in a funeral? I dress... I, dr I dress... In black. black. In black. In the funeral. Excellent. Lisa? That's it. Karen. Hello, teacher. Hello. How do you dress? <laughs> okay, easy. How do you dress <laughs> in the beach? Oh, um, I dress in the beach. Um, como se dice, traje de dos piezas. Traje de baño. Yes. Yes. Sería así, mi ahorita lo escribo. Swimsuit. Swimsuit, yes. Swimsuit. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Jenny. Yes, tell me. Jenny, how do you eat pupusas? Because listen, in El Salvador, everybody we eat pupusas, but people eat it different. Some people with their fingers, some people no fingers, some people no curtido, some people yes curtido. So, <laughs> some yeah. people make a sandwich of yeah. pupusas. Yeah. So how how do you can you excuse me one second, please, class? Yes, yes. Thank you. Hold on, please.
Hi, class. I'm sorry. Thank you. Hi, teacher. Okay. Hi, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Tocar y tocar y tocar. My neighbor, I need to move my car. Okay, so let's continue. So, lo que estamos practicando es how do you? Como ustedes hacen ciertas cosas, yes? How do you? So, I think I'm, con quien estaba Jenny? How do you eat pupusas? Yes. Okay, Jenny, so how do you um, eat pupusas? I eat pupusas with my finger. Okay, good. I eat pupusas with my fingers, excellent. Um, you know what, I eat beans. Frijoles, I, I eat beans with curtido. Me too. I you like too? It. Yeah, me, me too, I like to mix yeah. and in bread. Yes. Mm -hmm. I eat, que más como raro, I eat, I eat tortilla with cheese, mozzarella, mozzarella cheese. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Oh, I eat beans with um, jalea. Mm. You know the really? jalea, mermelada, yeah. I mix with beans. It's good. It's good. Okay, now, class, I want you to practice. Jenny, please ask somebody, how do you? Okay. So. How do you prepare so? Uh, to who? Um, Catherine? Yes. How do you prepare soup? How do you prepare soup? I prepare soup the chicken with, um, how do you serve verduras, teacher? Excuse me? Vegetable. Vegetable. I prepare soap um, chicken with vegetable. Okay, okay. So I pre I prepare with with um, vegetables. Correct. I don't know if si me oyen or no. Yes, teacher. Okay, next. Pregúntale. So, así está. Así, así se oye. How do you. Están adivinando. No, quiero que tengan confianza. How do you prepare soup? I prepare soup with vegetables. Okay, pero no, no, no duden. Okay. Acuérdense que pónganle. Um, okay. Uh -huh, like, o oh, si, sí, o oh, si, sí, siente. Okay. How do you. Um, how do you eat mangoes? Oh, I eat mangoes with lemon. <laughs> Example, yes? So, Catherine, ask somebody, please. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Um, Marixa? Okay, tell me. Okay. Um, how do you... Um, Swim in the lake. Um, I swim in the lake and in the morning. Um, 
uh, with my family. Okay, Catherine, is that correct? <laughs> yes, teacher. Okay, Jenny, is that correct? Your with the editor? Is that correct? Why? <laughs> Why? Why? Uh, Catherine say, how do you? Exactly. Yo sé que está mal, teacher, pero este... Este, no sé cómo decirlo porque, este, cómo me gusta nadar, ¿verdad? The swimming. Mm -hmm. Ah. But swimming on the lake. Okay, re repeat the question, please. Repeat the question, Catherine. Okay. How do you swim? How do you, how do you swim in the lake? Ok, good. ¿Por qué me dijo cómo le gusta nadar? Hello. Um, no, se me oh, no, no, usted no, Catherine. Okay. Usted no. Ah, ok, ok, ok. <laughs> este, teacher. Es, es que no le puedo decir cómo me gusta nadar porque... Eh, Pero no, mi pregunta es de dónde sacó usted gusta. Ella nunca dijo gusta. Ella nunca dijo like. ¿Saben qué es lo que pasa? Se me olvidó este término. Eh, y esto nos pasa a todos. Cuando pensamos que entendemos, ahí dejamos de escuchar. Ah, pum, ya sé lo que digo. Porque asociamos, hey, ja, como tú nadar, ah, como me gusta nadar. ¿Me entiende? Ella, ella nunca dijo like. Esa es una. Usted respondió en las mañanas. Tampoco nunca le dijo cuándo ni dónde. Es que ya me preguntó en el lago. O sea, ¿cómo te gusta nadar en el lago? Ok, vuelvo y repito. ¿De dónde saca usted gustar? Si ella nunca okay. dijo like. O cómo nadas en el lago. Exactly. Very good. Yes. Así de simple era. How do you swim in the lake? Exactly. Mm. Aunque la pregunta okay. es que no hay cómo responder porque como nada en el agua, o sea, no, yo eh, sé, yo, yo entiendo, pero o sea, en ropa, yo, 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 exacto. Yo, o sea, hagamos preguntas que haríamos siempre, ¿no? Eh, ¿Cómo viajas al trabajo? Ejemplo. ¿Cómo va el trabajo? How do you go to work? Pero me entiende, pero Catherine, si yo le pregunto a usted cómo nada en el lago, ¿cómo respondería? I swim in the lake. Um, ¿Estilo mariposa sería? Ok, butterfly. Oh, o de back, así. Backwards. Oh, ok, ok, ok. Ok. Mm -hmm. Or how do you swim in the lake? Ok, so, um, Maritza, where do you live? Uh, I live in Sonsonate. Sonsonate. Where do you work? I work in, in Sonsonate City Hall. Oh, yeah, and so. No, no es lejos, no le queda lejos, sí. Uh, mm, uh, five minutes. Okay, okay, five, okay, good. So, how do you go to work? Uh, in the bus. Very good. I go in the bus. I go my work in the bus. Excellent. Good. Karen. Hello, Karen. Ya ven por qué las cámaras. Por yes, eso es que molesta. Karen, 
Easy or difficult? Pero aquí estoy. Jenny. Hola. And en moto. Yes, teacher. Wait, and that yeah. was. Yeah, I'm right. What happened? Five minutes ago, you were yeah. in a. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, Karen, uh, easy or difficult? Easy, teacher. You live in Apopa, yes? Yes. Apopa is hot. Yes, very hot. Okay, how do you sleep? I How do you sleep. sleep at night? I sleep at night in... <laughs> in ropa interior. <laughs> Se lo juro, pensé que me iba a decir un ventilador. Okay, I sleep... Pero igual es hot, man. I sleep in... Yes. Ropa interior se dice under... Debajo. Under where? Underwear. Okay, or very hot. good. Okay, good. So I sleep with underwear. I okay. sleep for underwear. Yes. Good. Because it's hot. Yes. I, I sleep with a fan. Yes. <laughs> El mío se me arruinó por eso. Oh, man. Estoy sufriendo. Oh, man. Yo, bueno, no sé si les conté. Yo, yo no duermo con mi esposa. Yo duermo en un cuarto aparte. Porque mi esposa es bien como, como Drácula. <ríe> yes, ella no puede dormir con ventilador. <ríe> con tele encendida, con nada. Nothing. Y yo, no, baby, no, man. Entonces me voy al otro cuarto y me duermo con el fan. Si me despierto, me paso, pero si no, ahí me quedo. Siempre me... Y lo peor que mi hijo se está haciendo así también. For example, me, I need, necesito, I need to sleep watching TV, watching my cell phone, I don't know, YouTube, the fan. Pero no puedo, no puedo apagar solo la luz y... No me gusta el silencio, se ve bien raro, like, empiezo. Uh. So I, I need... Um, uh, si usted me pregunta a mí, how do you sleep? Oh, man, I sleep with the TV on, with the fan on, and no blanket. Ah, y esa es otra. Mi esposa duerme con colcha aún. Huele con este calor. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. So, como. Sí. <laughs> Sábana. Yeah. No, I, 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 it's hot. Estoy pensando seriamente en poner aire acondicionado. Sí, después de la pandemia, algo. después de la pandemia que me toca trabajar en casa, oh. It's hot. Okay. So, eh, very good. Muy, muy, muy buenas preguntas. Lo único que sí les recomiendo es que cuando hagan una pregunta, póngale personaje o carácter a la pregunta. Empiecen a hacer eso. Y les digo porque a veces tengo clases que ya son toic o toffel y y hablan bien robotizados. Y yo he visto eso, por ejemplo, en call centers. Cuando entrevistan a alguien y alguien puede hablar muy bien. Y le dicen, hi, ok, tell me about you. Cuéntame de ti. Empiezan. I am married. I live in Lourdes. I have two children. Y lo están diciendo súper bien, pero bien robótico. Y se quedó. En vez de decir, I am married, I live in Lourdes, I have two children, one boy, one girl, etcétera, 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 etcétera. 
Yes. Póngale carácter o personaje a sus preguntas se ven adelante. Yes. But very good. Y okay. lo, eh, esto de how do you. How do you es como tú, como ustedes. Lo van a oír siempre. ¿Cómo puedes hacer eso? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo hiciste eso? ¿Cómo dormiste ahí? ¿Cómo viviste ahí? ¿Cómo anduviste con esa persona? ¿Cómo? Ahí está. How do you? How do you? How do you? Hay gente que no puede comer sushi con, con palillos chinos. Yeah. How do you do that? O cuando ustedes quieren preguntar, hey, ¿cómo se hace eso? Siempre hemos preguntado, hecho esa pregunta, ¿no? Hey, ¿cómo se hace eso? How do you do that? Yes, how do you, how do you, how do you? Okay. Okay, teacher. Jenny, ¿verdad que no va manejando usted? No. Voy de copiloto. Después vamos a ver una lancha. Ya iban el, en el micro y en moto, después el lancha. Después. Yes. Okay. Okay, class. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, teacher. Okay, tomorrow. Yes. Oh, Karen. Yes, teacher. Se puede quedar usted un minuto, porfa. Sí. Thank you. Okay, class. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye, teacher. Bye. -bye.